So Active Circle is an archive system. Its purpose is to store a lot of content, a lot, a lot of video files on an archive system with a low cost and a high level of service. So the great thing about Active Circle is that it gives the user a view of all the content, all the content that resides on various disks in the company or even in, the, in different locations and even on LTO tape. So the Active Media Explorer is the user interface uh, for the media uh, users. Uh, with this interface, they will be able to search, browse, view the content and decide uh, to download it or to send it to a network target when the content will be repurposed, re-edited and reused. All the content that resides on all these different places can be retrieved using one single user interface. This interface is tightly coupled with the archive and the user has the vision of how the content will be accessed, how fast it, it will be accessed. For example, what you see here is a green dot. The green means that the content is online, is on disk. So it will be really fast to download it or to retrieve it from the archive. The yellow dot means that the content resides uh, on an LTO tape in the library. So it is still accessible, but it will take approximately uh, two to three minutes to be retrieved from the archive. So the customer uh, defines a policy. A typical policy would be, for example, uh, to say that um, the content will, uh, one copy of the content will automatically go to tape and stay forever. This is for protection, long-term protection of the content. And at the same time, one copy will go to disk and stay, uh, let's say, for example, three months. So in this case, it means that all the new content, all the recent content will be easily and fast accessible on disk, very quickly accessible on disk. So, and then after three months, of course, the content will, go, will disappear from disk and will remain on tape. As a user, I am able to browse and view um, the low resolution proxy uh, in order to decide if this is the content I want, the media I want. Uh, this is important because as a user I don't want to retrieve the full media from the, from the ALTO tape just to, to view the content and, and to, to decide that it's the right one. An archive uh, usually lasts longer than the hardware. So if you want to switch hardware, if you want to remove some old hardware and replace by a new one, uh, with this system, with Active Circle, what you can do is bring in the new hardware just plug it in and change the policy to ask for an extra copy on the new hardware. And then it will, it will copy an extra copy, it will take some time, it, mi it might take a, a few weeks if there's a lot of content. Um, it's okay because the users won't see any difference, the applications on top won't see any difference. And then when it's done, the, the system will tell you, it's done, I have a new copy on the new system, on the new storage. And then all you have to do is change the policy again and remove the previous hardware, the, the, the obsolete hardware. And then it's all migrated without any disruption, without any change uh, for the users. You can place the servers where you want. You can place them in a, in a central building and you can have another server in a remote location if you want to do disaster recovery. In this case, the content is protected. And it's also a system that can start small with one server, a small disk array or a small tape library and that can grow almost forever and reach a multi-petabyte system.